What is up y'all, this is Bo, the Cajun Toe Boulder, and today we are reviewing the SH Figuarts Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Pink Ranger. And she does look good, got the figure on the front, comes with her power bow and two versions of the Blade Blaster. And also uh, some arrows and another accessory to make the whole uh, weapons coming together blaster, which I will show on the last figure review. So let's take a look at the box. Got the posing on the side, posing in the back, and Pink Ranger on the side. SH Figure Arts. And these figures are good. I've been having them for about 10 years. And like I said, it took me a little bit to um, to find all of them and get them all. Uh, cost me a little bit of money too, but I got these in 2014 and I hadn't opened them yet. So I want to go ahead and open them up and review them for y'all. So let's take her out of the box, put her on the turntable, and we'll check out the accessories before taking her off and checking out the uh, for any imperfections and the articulation. Alright y'all, here she is out of the box and on the turntable, and the figure does look good. So here are some of the accessories. So she has some extra hands, fisted hands. I just noticed I have one of her hands kind of cockeyed right there. She's got a karate chopping hand, another gripping hand, and she's got another gripping hand, and then she's got a hand with her arrow on it. It's just mostly like what Hasbro has. Um, comes with her power bow. Her blade blaster, the holster version and the blade blaster with this on it like I said I can't remember what the name for this part was but I do know it attaches to it and they got it from like Titanus so let's go ahead that's all the accessories let's go ahead and get her off of the turntable and check out the articulation and for any imperfections all right y'all here she is off the turntable and I do notice one little paint imperfection right here in the white of her uh, actually I scratched it off it was just some paint right there so I'm not gonna count that um, it was on her blade uh, holster for her blade blaster so she does have butterfly joints and she can go up or down uh, sorry t-pose she does have double jointed elbows as well um, I do like these arms compared to the Lightning Collection arms. They are pretty good. She does have, um, she doesn't have a bicep swivel. She has a torso crunch, no ab crunch. She can look up this much and can look down that much. She can split this much. Try not to knock off her legs like I did with the Black Ranger. She does have a split in the skirt, so she can do a split. Let's see. She can kick up this much. Double jointed knees. I like how smooth the joints are. She doesn't have a boot swivel. But foot can go that way. She has an ankle swivel. And she has that toe joint. So yeah, this figure is a good figure as well just like the black ranger i do like it um i also give it a uh, 10 out of 10 i had no problems with it um that imperfection that i thought it scratched off so not an imperfection but this is a great figure so if you collect sh figure art figures um let me know let me know what you like about them let me know what you don't like about them let me know which figures you collect if power rangers dragon ball z i'm not sure what other figures they make but uh I'm pretty sure they make a lot of the anime ones. Let me know if you'd like to see them make more Ranger teams. If Hasbro actually has given them the rights to do that. To continue that. Um, if you search Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok for The Cajun Toe Boater, You can find me on there. If you search YouTube for Two Old Cajuns Nerd Out. That's my and Cajun Toy Reviews podcast channel. You can go ahead and give us a like and a listen on there. Um, let us know what you think. Let us know what you like to uh, hear us talk about. But other than that, I want to 
Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. Just overall, thanks for everything. And as always, I will see you all in the next one.